Yeah, I got like really good at the original Donkey Kong Country like pretty recently for no reason. That's seriously it, it just like it sort of happened. Yeah, I also hear you're not really too proud of your past Don Donkey Kong Country games. We could seriously race some of them if you're interested, because I heard you just like to race Donkey Kong games in general, really. Ah, it's fine. Ah, it'd be I just interesting. Like, I just like playing them. Yeah, they're just such damn pick up and play games. I gotta say, like I could just go on my Wii U menu and just boot up Donkey Kong Country 2 and just have a pleasant time. It's a fun- Just bust up some motherfucking DKC2. Triple A platformer. Like, like it's 1995 again. I've gotten so good at Donkey Kong Country 2 ever since my Let's Play, I should probably boot up my original cartridge and see what's the fastest time I could get on that game. Fuck, my LP file was like five and a half hours. It was so bad oh, for time. <laughs> And it's it doesn't really count actual time. Like you said at one point, it only counts when you're in the levels, not on the menu screens or doing loading times with the bonus areas or go visiting the Kongs, that kind of thing. It's a, yeah. yeah, like none of that counts. It's only when you're in a level. I know, because I would do like a 15-minute episode, but somehow my save file recorded 11 minutes. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Which I... It's not necessarily a bad thing. I think they use, uh, for speedruns, I think they use the in-game timer. Yeah. Also, are there, like, any bananas whatsoever on this course besides the ones right there on the ship? I noticed that. Uh, no, I they're just... all really out of the way. That's why I haven't gotten any of them. I know, I just saw some, like, hitting in the waterfall corners right there, but at the same time, like, why would you go for that shit on this course? It's not worth it. <laughs> I'm very glad that I haven't r lost a race yet, because that would be... It would make me cry, I, ever, Tim. A cry in a bay full of tears. Tear bay, not whale bay. <laughs> screw... Screw tear bay, I have money bay. <laughs> Imagine that, just swimming in money. Ooh, money makes the world go round and round, or some bull crap. I would be Scrooge McDuck, that would be awesome. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck. The the greatest man who's ever lived the, is Scrooge The McDuck. biggest douchebag duck in whoever lived. <laughs> Alright. That was skills right there, so I, I like, like, got my trajectory way off, so I boosted in midair while turning, uh, and it got me back on. Yeah. I don't know, I never saw too much of DuckTales, but I just knew for a fact that back then I wasn't the biggest fan of Scrooge McDuck because they did, like, a their own version of the Christmas Carol and Scrooge McDuck was like the Scrooge who was only invested in money, I guess. I don't know. And it just. Well, yeah, because his name is Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> That's where his name comes from. I know. It's... I don't know. I wonder. No, never mind. That'd be pretty stupid. Oh, God. I might actually lose this race. I'm kind of worried right now. Christmas Carol still creeps me out, especially like near. Like. Nah, I shouldn't spoil it. <laughs> Near the end with, like, the ghost of Christmas Future? Well, him just, like, falling into his grave, essentially, and just all the fire and demons come out. It's weird. <laughs> it's death water! And then he wakes up. Ugh, nightmare fuel. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of scare the crap out of you as a kid. I didn't see it until I was, like, ten, so, I mean, it wasn't really the biggest scare thing for me. Oh, you're talking about, like, Scrooge McDuck and the Christmas Carol thing? No, the original Christmas Carol. Oh, yeah, okay, then. Well, at the same time, I, that Sc Scrooge McDuck Christmas Carol thing was kind of in a Walt Disney show called The House of Mouse, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I took a field trip to go see, like, a, a live production of A Christmas Carol when I was in grade 9, I think? It might have been 8. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure. But it was way back when I was a youngin'. Uh, yeah. Screw the shortcut, I have dignity. <laughs> <laughs> I always go for that shortcut, despite how risky it is, I don't care. It's... I always screw it up, I so I never go for it. I don't know. I'm not, well, I always go for I, it, but like, I'm not going for it this time. I don't know, I don't know about you, I always seem to find Diddy Kong Racing an easy game until you just hit up with Adventure 2. <laughs> Dude, motherfucking Octopus Boss is not easy. Really? <laughs> I found him easy. As soon as I get like 10 missiles, I always reload on that shit with another red balloon if I can. Yeah, but he's just sitting there laughing his ass off like bubbles everywhere. Oh, Screw yeah. you all. <laughs> he, he does get hard with those annoying bubbles. That's right. He just puts them out. It's also kind of yeah. creepy, that boss, because he sounds like he's it's just some guy constantly drowning. Uh. 
Yeah, I I don't know why. I guess they probably like put a little thin layer of water over his mouth. I know, and that's why he was why saying that. He was just bobbling and water. <laughs> he said like one line at a time. Yeah. <laughs> this is two different voice actors. <laughs> Go, go, you motherfucker, turtle! Oh yeah, turtle power. Turtle in a half shell, tip of power. <laughs> I've never seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not the movies, not the comics, not any TV show. Oh, except man. for one time when I woke up and my friend turned it on uh, in the ho hotel room that we were staying in. Oh, was it? And the, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Was it the new one the, from Nickelodeon? Yeah, it, it was the new one. Okay, well, I hear it just gradually gets worse as TMT MT goes by, but it's kind of surprising because even though I'm not a TMNT fan, I did see, like, those live-action cheesy corniness of the 80 movies and the TMNT. I heard the new movies were just awful. Yeah, I saw TMNT, the one in, like, 2000, I don't know, not the newest one, but 2014 I didn't see. It's 2000 and I want to say 6 it came out. I don't know. Uh, or seven. Yeah, I'd, I don't know when the last TMNT movie was before the newest one. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. It's literally just called TMNT. Yeah. It's like, how many... Well, there's a lot of movies just called, like, TMNT, but yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. I haven't... Just like, there's a lot of movies called Godzilla. Yeah. And they're almost all terrible. <laughs> yeah. I heard, like, in this new Godzilla movie, it was kind of weird because the... Godzilla apparently is a hero in that movie. It kind of yeah. weirds me out a little. <laughs> yeah, I haven't it was, seen... It was awful. Yeah. Don't see it. Okay. <laughs> like, I, what I just said now shouldn't count as a spoiler. I hope so, because I never saw Godzilla. And I saw yeah. the well, 2000... Sorry. Uh, four guys, or... It's, no, it's six guys carry a nuke five miles in, like, 13 minutes over rubble. Yeah, that's realistic. <laughs> I imagine that would have been just so thrilling to watch too. <laughs> would have been the greatest thing ever. No, it was it was just awful. The humans did nothing, and they played up their role so much. And they they see this thing that's like, oh, this thing eats nuclear power. Let's hit it with a nuke. <laughs> it's like, yeah, because that's smart. Herpy derpy. Like, nobody thought to to change that idea. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I only Apparently saw not. I only saw the 2001 and I don't remember much of it. I hear it was garbage though too. Um, yeah, it's got one of my favorite songs in it though. Your favorite A320 by the Foo Fighters. Ah, uh, like I can't. Diddy Kong Racing have a dinosaur to drive around in. I would totally be all over that shit. Dude, I would drive inside of a dinosaur. Well, eh, that's what I guess. They would just copy Mario Kart then because Yoshi is like the most lovable cartoon dinosaur out there, I imagine. <laughs> Wait, this is supposed to be the first track? I thought this was supposed to be the third track. No, this is the first track. You screwed up the order in your LP, I'm, I'm imagining, did you? Well, no, because like the the uh, balloons required is like the third most for this. Really? I always went into this one first. Not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, I always, I always thought this was the third track. No, I always thought, like, the balloon counter said, like, this was the least amount of balloons you need for this world. <laughs> Maybe I'm just nuts. I don't know. I wasn't paying too much attention. Well, then again, I haven't seen this episode yet of you going through, um... Yeah, I just, I just ignored this level and went right to Windmill Plains. Yeah. That, I just passed right through that tree. Oh my god, like, I totally did <laughs> saw that. You just like clipped through that shit like <laughs> like like right through the center. Like ten great great game rare. Good job product testing. Yeah, Tip Top's <laughs> cheekbone may have gone through it, but not Tip Top the majority of him. Like what the hell? <laughs> At the same time, that's yeah, like, but he's it still should have counted in the hitbox. I know a third of his hovercraft just went through and just clipped through it. Oh my god. Guy love N64 when apparently they can make it super colorful and detailed like compared to the PlayStation 1 but unlike N64 a lot of the objects just have sprites while PlayStation 1 sprites or objects usually were in model 3D pre-rendered isn't this in in uh, sprites I thought this was what I thought this game like all your characters were sprites technically instead of models no they're that's Mario Kart 64 totally <laughs> oh is it Mario Kart 64 is sprites yeah Mario Kart 64 looks like garbage compared to this game anyway. Well, yeah, totally. So. This came out later <laughs> also, so... And this is Rare Rare. They are, Rare Rare always knows how to amp the graphics up for their, their games, uh, even when they're terrible. 
Rareware knows everything. Rareware knows where you sleep at night. I'm, you should watch out. I mean, I barely played anything of uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, but I did love how that game looked. Yeah, it it definitely didn't look bad. It looks very outstanding, not gonna <laughs> lie. It's very stylized. The only footage I've seen is Jane Train's review of it. Jane Train's, you didn't really see the trailers, especially the very first teaser trailer. That was the only promising thing that Rarer was going to say, yeah, we're going to bring a platforming Banjo 3 like y'all wanted. Then the world's got too big, so they put a car. Then they wanted to have missions for the cars, and the cars just eventually developed into its own focus, and the voila, nuts and bolts happened. Nope, never saw it. Yeah, that's legit what happened during development. Like, you all know and love how banjo Tui was just so wide and expansive. Just Rarer had the idea of getting a car to navigate the places so much easier, and that just became the focus over time. <laughs> oh my god, this race is a total clusterfuck. Because I was be so totally down for a Banjo 3E with the sized worlds of nuts and bolts, but not so much with the vehicles focused on. Just platforming all over the place. That would be like Jack and Daxter, in a sense. Well, the entire point of the cars was because they made the worlds too big to traverse. Yeah, so that's what I meant. So they needed a faster way of getting around. Yeah. Which I don't know why they didn't just give you, like, a Talon Trot. Or... That made you move a lot faster. Or, you know, just Did he get the fuck out of my way? What the hell was wrong with the teleportation pads? Those worked, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess they were... It was, like... Not exciting Several enough. times bigger than the worlds in Tui, so... I don't know what I just ran into there. I don't know. You kind of just hit the curb, and it just, the crashing just didn't register on time. It was like a second later. I don't know. Yeah, that was, that was kind of odd. Also, I, I don't think I hit the curb, but I might have. <laughs> oh my god. Diddy Kong, get the fuck out of my way. They se like, seriously. They seriously make crashing not a threat in this game, but in real life, it's like the most um, shittiest, shittiest feeling in the entire world, I gotta say. I haven't crashed yet. I have but it, I have never crashed my car. I've gotten close a couple times, though. Yeah, like, I haven't crashed yet, but like I said, it's like, eh, no problem, you crash, just keep on going here in real life. It's like, no, oh. you, you, you fucked up. You fucked up big time. <laughs> I fucked up big time. I got second place on a trophy race. Oh, my God, that's totally unacceptable. Blast me. Blasphemous. That's like, um, zero out of five stars. You, you can't do that on YouTube anymore. Never mind. <laughs> nope. No, I'm banned from YouTube. Fucking phone. I'll be right back. Like Timber, he are you probably... still talking? I wasn't. I wasn't here that whole time. Oh, no, this is legit pause menu gameplay right now. We're dealing right here. The fans crave oh. for this in a racing game where nothing is happening, not constant speeds when the game's actually okay. playing. You could totally. Yeah, sure. I was talking the entire time. You could totally keep that in. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Why not? I also love how like the green balloons give you like this green fart instead of an oil slick it's weird <laughs> fart in my mouth it's like oh basically. god this fart it smells so nasty the plane goes out of control <laughs> as their nostrils are being tortured <laughs> just swirling out of control oh my god no i can't handle the stench i can't dude oh <laughs> Instead of the hills have eyes, the haystacks have eyes. Oh god, it, it just looks so freaking violent when they crash into the ground, just tumbling all over the goddamn place. Like, oh my god, it's just like, how are you alive? It's like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. It's like, how are you alive? You thrashed into the ground pretty goddamn brutally. <laughs> it was a pretty hardcore crash there, Tip Top. Are you alright there, buddy? <laughs> yeah. I also like how you could just go through the leaves, but that's usually a thing in this game. I don't know. Yeah, it's, hitboxes are kind of bleh in this game. Yeah, so I did like my tournament at PAX Prime with Diddy Kong Racing. It was the most, some of the most fun I ever had there. And one, this race kind of screwed me almost on losing the entire thing. It's because there's a boost and they put it right, right next to a windmill, and I hit the windmill on every single lap. <laughs> oh no! But I still somehow like one of the ones inside. Um, no, there, there's this boost that you're coming up to right now, and it, like, directly launches you into a windmill right here, and I always hit that windmill every single lap, and I don't know how I managed to make it to the next bracket. <laughs> oh, no. Especially... I was lucky. I know, especially when, like, hitting the walls as a plane is, like, the most devastating thing in this game. Yeah, it's, like, insanely bad to hit the walls as the plane. 
Yeah. Dude, that was my one chance. I made second now place. Now I'm going so to lose. Not too bad. Again. Yeah, how do you lose to Banjo of all slow drivers? <laughs> you you saw, like, there was basically nothing I could have done better. I know, it's like, oh my god, like, what is up with this AI with a slow character like Banjo? <laughs> As I said, trophy races are considerably harder. Actually, I don't know what Banjo's stats are, because he's not like a Pepsi, he's a heavy character. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's pretty good still, I'd say. He's better than Crunch, because Crunch is still like, no matter what you look at the stats, Banjo is top tier compared to him. <laughs> oh, everyone is top tier compared to Crunch. Oh yeah, totally. Like, who the hell even thought it was acceptable to play as him? Like, <laughs> people are totally gonna play as a slippery crunch guy that you're gonna hold skid for the entire time every time you race him. <laughs> yeah, he's got like top speed and worst everything else. Like, I think he's got the lowest stat total of anybody. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't think, like, weight classes really matter in this game. Rarely do you bump anyone in this game to send them flying off the track. And the tracks themselves yeah. are pretty sized. <laughs> oh god, I just hit my own oil slick. That's why I always go for the lightweights because they just up the stats for them. Yeah, it's kind of rigged in their favor a little bit, Yeah, which is kind of a bummer, but oh, well. I mean, you can see why. Yeah. I also like how this is called Haunted Woods, but there's barely any woods in this place. Like, this is the only section where you see any woods in Haunted Woods. It's mostly just, like, castle and town, really. Yeah, like this area. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Nice. Damn, son, I got all four trophies! Huzzah! Onward to secret bonusness? Who knows when you get four trophies? There's gotta be some reward. Well, you get four trophies, and then uh, they give you a fifth one for just being that awesome. Yeah. For no totally. reason. For no raisins whatsoever. Anyways, I think that's it uh, <laughs> for the trophy races. Well, that, no, I think that's it. it. I know that's da it. Da 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 so thank da, you for joining da, me. Da, 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 or just da, sing whatever. That's fine. Yeah. There's also Thank you, Kevin. I was singing the Mario no Kart problem. trophy celebration. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh thanks also, for having Also Robo Skype, so hooray. Yeah, I like it how you just ended off at a note where the inner connection's bad all of a sudden, so <laughs> Yeah, it was thanks fine the me. entire time and then now it's bad. But yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah, let's just end next time right now. we will we will just <laughs> next time we will destroy the giant me. pig monster. So I'll I'll see you guys then. Bye. Huh. Bye.